Buenos días, estimados asociados de la Asociación Colombiana de Gastroenterología. En la mañana de hoy hemos llevado a cabo la primera parte del segmento de enfermedad inflamatoria intestinal. Hoy nos acompaña la doctora Manasi Aragual y la doctora María Teresa Galeano, quien es la moderadora de este segmento. Doy a continuación la palabra a la doctora Galeano, quien realizará una breve entrevista. Estamos con la doctora Agraval. Eh, la doctora Agraval es profesora de gastroenterología y enfermedad inflamatoria intestinal en Mount Sinai, en Nueva York. First, thank you very much, Dr. Agraval, for coming to Colombia. Thank you for all your work in the IBD and the research that you do. All the knowledge that you told us are very important. We appreciate if you can summarize that for our medical community and also for our patients, please. Thank you so much for having me here. It is such a pleasure and such an honor to be here, to meet all of you and share all of our ongoing research. So I think that a very important aspect of inflammatory bowel disease, which is rising on a global scale, is to understand what causes IBD and to prevent IBD. We are understanding now that IBD is not due to one factor alone. It's due to many, many different factors that accumulate over time. And so it's important to understand those factors, to understand who is at risk, and therefore we can apply mitigation strategies, prediction and prevention strategies. And this is the space that my colleagues and I are doing a lot of work in. And I think it's very important from the context of prevention. Further, from the context of prevention, it is very important to treat IBD early. And so we have to identify what are the right treatments for the right patient. In that regard, we are doing a lot of work on early surgery for terminal ileitis. And we are very excited to understand who are the patients who will not have disease recurrence. So these are some of our ongoing and I think this is very important as IBD continues to become a burden in our modern world. Thank you, Doctor. Also, we want to ask you, please, what do you recommend for us? You see them in our meeting. What do you see we can innovate and improve in our meeting, please? I think that you have put such a fantastic Congress together and it's already so impressive, the innovation and the science that is happening here. I do think that one of the key things for innovation and improvement in general is to have more and more people from different places and from different backgrounds because the more differences we have in thought and leadership, the more we learn. Diversity is strength. And so inviting people from different parts of the world, people who do research and clinical work in different spaces and young people, I think, will make it more dynamic and make it more cutting edge. Thank you very much, Dr. Agraval, for all your insights. And thank you again for coming to Colombia. Thank you very much. En busca permanente de las E en la gastroenterología.